so this time we got UI mode. When I booted, I also had one of my um, one of my powers wasn't fully inserted, so one of my eight terabytes didn't fire up. So I'm gonna go back in and we'll make a couple changes to the array here. I did uh, build the array, put the cache in. I can show that. Ended up formatting it. It took a little bit, so you didn't really miss anything that way. Okay, so I just put the password in there. Um, oh yeah, it's got to be parity here, but I'm actually going to cancel the parity check for now. We'll run that after. It's just going to slow things down. So I added a few of the um, hard drives in here by the, by the serial numbers. I'm actually going to stop the array, take it offline, and then it'll allow me to add something. If you want to take things away, you have to actually like clear out sections of the array using a um, like a new new setup tool. I can show you where that is in a second, but I actually want to assign disk one, and I'm just hoping it shows up now. Those two, yeah, there it is. There, PJRF. Okay, bang, bang, bang. Adding all them in. Looks good. There's my Intel. NVMe SSD valid expansion. This is what we're going to do. New config. Uh, we will save parity and cache. Yes. Apply. Okay, main. Now I don't have them in at all. But disk one. CT zero JF. Okay. So the other discs are here now. Part of the reason why I do the serial number and go to that um, like extreme, because you could just add them in, but part of the reason I do that is, is if I've got a hot disk, anything's happening, it tells me there's an error, anything else, like opposed to not having the serial number on the face there, I, I can't tell which, which tray it is, you got to pull them all out, right, because you're trying to go by the serial numbers where... I've actually got to set up now the discs and the parodies and everything match up. The serial numbers are on the front. It just makes it easy. All right, so it says one of the drives up here I can't use. It's unmountable, unsupported partition layout. So all I've got to do is actually format the drive. So we're going to say format, unmountable disk, format, yes. And it'll do that. The other thing I want to do is we're going to cancel the parity check again. So parity calculations go on, we're slow. Oh, actually, while it's formatting, it doesn't do it. I guess because that would change the parity anyways, right? Okay. Yeah. Go away. Once that shows up, then that drive will be active in it too. So it's saying I've got the total of like 32 terabytes after we're done. 
So right now, I don't have any virtual machines, so I don't have anything else going on. My shares technically are needing to still be set up too. So there's a little bit to do here yet. So I'm going to let that format in the video, and then after it's done, I'm going to set up a few user shares. And once my user shares are set up, again, the um, Space Invader has great great videos on how to do all of that, but I'm going to set up my user shares, get that going, and then um, I'll load up the camera again. We'll copy over the uh, Windows CD um, ISO that I have, and then I'll uh, set up some of my scripts and stuff, and we'll we'll get Windows going. Just kind of try and take videos here and there as I go, and if I can think of anything to mention while I'm doing it. But uh, there is a lot of time elapse stuff here.